Good morning, my name is Angel Pineda, and this is webcam presentation number two for Nursing 5461 Acute and Critical Illness. Um, during this particular clinical rotation, I was rounding with the uh, trauma nurse practitioners at University Medical Center, and um, in this particular patient case, um, she presented to our facility as a level one trauma patient, and me alongside with the other nurse practitioners worked her up um, from the second that she presented and transitioned her into um, the ICU stay. And so this patient's um, initials are DJ. Um, she is 59 uh, kilograms and 65 centimeters. She presented to our facility, as previously mentioned, as a level one uh, trauma. She was status post fall versus assault. Um, her history of present illness, this is a 50 year old female status post Assault versus fall, the patient was found by local police wandering the street um, with an altered mental status and multiple abrasions and lacerations to her face as well as an obvious facial deformity um, and possible facial fractures. On arrival to the emergency room, the patient was combative, confused, uh, approximately a GCS of 12 to 13. Um, for this reason, we proceeded to perform a rapid sequence intubation to protect her airway and be able to complete the um, primary trauma survey. Past medical history, um, the patient is HIV positive as well as hepatitis C positive. These are, uh, are reported by the patient's current boyfriend. Past surgical history is unknown at this time. Medications are also unknown at this time. Social history, the patient is a known IV drug and alcohol abuser. Again, these are things that are reported by the patient's boyfriend. The patient was previously homeless and was recently living with her boyfriend um, who is currently here at the hospital with her um, for the last two weeks and has no known family in the area. Review of symptoms. Um, prior to intubation, the patient was combative and interfering with medical care. Um, she from the second that she rolled into the emergency room was screaming and repeating, repeating my expletive face hurts um, and that was about all she was saying. She wasn't able to communicate much more than that. Um, so for that reason, there was, uh, we were unable to gather any other uh, subjective data from her um, prior to her being intubated. Uh, on physical exam, um, H-E-E-N-T, um, the head is normal cephalic. Um, there is a small, approximately two centimeter laceration to her chin. Um, perla is intact. The tympanic membranes are also clear bilaterally. Um, the, oral, the ET tube is in place and secured. Um, there, there's no damage to her teeth, although there is poor dentition um, and her gum line appears to be receding. Um, there is an area uh, below her right orbit that does appear to be depressed and have a significant amount of ecchymosis around the orbit. There is no rhinorrhea noted at this time. Um, neurologically, the patient is currently a GCS of 3T um, following re rapid sequence intubation. Um, the patient is flaccid to all extremities again because of the intubation meds. Respiratory-wise, the patient is currently mechanically ventilated. The lung sounds are clear bilaterally. Minimal secretions are noted. Cardio-wise, uh, cardio the patient is in sinus rhythm with no ectopies noted. Um, S1, S2 are auscultated. Central and peripheral pulses are plus 2 with a brisk capillary refill noted to all extremities. Um, the abdomen is soft, non-tender with positive bowel sounds present. The fast exam that was completed in the trauma bay was negative. Integumentary, the patient has multiple track marks um, in various stages of healing throughout her bilateral upper and lower extremities. Um, very difficult to obtain IV access. For this reason, a central line catheter was placed in the right IJ uh, using ultrasound. Bruising and ecchymosis is noted to the right orbit, laceration to the chin as previously mentioned. Um, no other lacerations or wounds noted. Um, her back is intact. No signs of ulcerations or skin breakdown noted at that point. Um, assessment, 50-year-old female status post assault versus fall with um, fa possible facial fractures and a complicated social history. Our plan is to complete the trauma workup. We've obtained a CBC, BMP, a beta, PT, PTT, INR, ABG, HIV and hepatitis panel, a ROTEM. We will also complete a uh, pan CT, um, CT of the head, face, C-spine, chest, abdomen, pelvis, T and L-spine. Um, to evaluate for any injuries. We will. Uh, we also completed a chest x-ray and a pelvis in the trauma bay um, 
through that the ET tube appeared to be in place as well as the um, OG tube was in the stomach below the diaphragm. Um, no obvious injury on the x-ray of the pelvis. Um, the bladder was distended for this a 16 French Foley catheter was placed in the trauma bay um, in sterile fashion. Um, the patient will be admitted to the ICU for uh, vent management and uh, we will also consult OMFS um, and once we have the final read from the CT of the face um, to determine any kind of intervention that needs to be performed for the uh, facial fracture. Um, we will sedate the patient in the ICU using propofol. Um, we will also administer uh, fentanyl, 100 uh, micrograms every two hours as needed for pain. Um, depending on how the patient um, progresses and what the OMFS plan is, we may consider placing a PCA. Um, again, we'll have to wait for OMSS, OMFS for uh, further recommendations. We'll also go ahead and get social work on board. Um, in case management just because this is going to be a very complicated um, social case um, when once it comes to discharge the patient as previously mentioned was currently was previously homeless and currently living in a less than optimal situation with her boyfriend um, patient will need um, drug rehab will need HIV counseling will need hepatitis uh, and will need assistance with medications uh, also, console physical therapy for early range of motion and progressive mobility. Uh, again, this was a level one trauma case that came in through our ER, um, status post assault versus fall with a very complicated social history. Um, the patient ended up progressing to the ICU, was later extubated um, because OMFS opted to treat the patient um, non-surgically. The patient was then um, discharged at approximately a week after admission um, to a halfway house. Thank you.